Hey John here and welcome back. So, let's get on with it. I thought that it was pretty tedious using this Tinker's contract now that I have basically everything I could... What the fuck are you doing in there? <laughs> okay, can I melt him? And or... Let's get one out. I believe just a teeny weeny amount of more than anything should make them melt. <laughs> anyway, those weirdos aside, what I've done here is set up a Tinker's Construct um, machine question mark <coughs> that automatically extracts the fluid, pumps it on into this big tank. The reason it's so big is because I had a ton of emerald in there. I'll show that in a moment. But it pumps into the tank, which then gets pumped out to this top bit and then into a basin, um, and then on to my previous setup, sorting, well not sorting, more like a pumping system for my quarry downstairs and the miner I have in that direction. So yeah, this will fill up not too fast, but as long as something goes in here, let's have it out, and, up. okay, so now there's some iron in there. Do they actually take damage? Do they leave? Yes, they do! They melt down to iron. <laughs> cool. That's pretty nifty. So the question now is, what the hell did I previously say and where have I gotten to? This is just too awesome. Oh well, all that aside, what this really does is, I click on this, it will pour into the drum, which has a pretty big capacity nonetheless. <laughs> nonetheless. And then by this transfer node, which was incorrectly set to pump into the sear tank. Bad idea. And then through that, some transfer pipes. Oh. Yeah, is it transfer pipes? I can't remember. Yeah, it is. Okay. And then into the tank. Now the dynamic tank is a bit of a hassle to use because it has some crashing tendencies. It's not the best, the most stable nor anything, but the reason I put it up initially was because of the insane amount of emerald I had. I have four drums filled with it and an overloading uh, tower of emerald in there too. So really I had to do something about it and pump it out as quickly as possible. And what that resulted in, well, yeah, these. These are the idea of this entire thing. Because why would I stand here myself and pump this all out when I can have it automated by whatever is going on nearby this system? I'm basically just using the windmill you saw at the start outside. Let me just get out there. This, which is awkwardly placed in midair, this is just temporary, but it's really effective. But anyway, that's powering both the pump from the minus and from the seared, no, not the seared, the casting basin. And basically, the more crap I pump into this, the more it will pump out, but it won't mix and match. This will only accept whatever is in it now, and I believe it's iron, so. We might as well start the system. And let's watch it go. Load 9 being poured, being sucked out there, being sucked into this. And dot modem, hold on. Okay, and being set up here. And it should come any second now. This should be mode 9, though. I'm not too sure. It could be Invar. And if that's the case, I might be a bit screwed, because then I'll lose that entire thing. But it does look like Mold Lion, doesn't it? It's hard to really say, and it's hard to know for me right now why the hell it doesn't work. It's been going in this entire day. The fuck? The fuck? <laughs> what the? Where did you come from? Hmm, nonetheless. It's pretty cool. But actually, I want these. There we go. That's easier. 
It doesn't require lava. Mode 9. It should pump up, but this evidently is Inva, so I might as well just break it because I won't be pumping Inva. I need to correct the pipe again, god damn it. Because the second I pick this up, the pipe will turn around and instantly try and suck out from the chest into the basin, which obviously doesn't work. Well, actually, it does. It will put the first item, but then it'll just start puking stuff all over the place. And I seem to have buggered this up royally. But nonetheless, it works. What the fuck? It works for big quantities, but it's really a rough system. You will lose some stuff over time. But what I really designed for was the villager farming for emeralds. And. Well, I used it a bit for iron as well because I had too many fences lying around. And by too many, I mean <laughs> the quarry side by the castle is nothing compared to how much I had in here. Start, holy shit. Way too much. But yeah, there's a reason for all this iron farming. And s yeah, there's a reason. Because I want to use iron blocks to, well, basically. Make my base look freaking awesome. And by base, I mean the new base, which is coming along nicely downstairs. Let's go take a look at it, shall we? This is it. Still being mined out. Still need to be <laughs> flushed. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Well, too bad for him. Oh well. So this will be the entire thing. I believe I made a hole that goes all the way down to... Oh, hello. Hi. Light mages. I have your back, I have your back. Give me mana, I assume. Can't really tell. So yeah, this is bedrock and I am what? Four tiles? Yes, I will mine out the last few too. That's not a big concern. These loud assholes, gotta get away from them. So yeah, that is basically what's going on right now. And just pop it. What the? Are you two following me? Screw you guys. Cool. Anyway, that was it on my emerald farm functionality. I haven't put it up right now, but I will just demonstrate shortly before I take my leave because it simply is pretty uh, pretty fun. Except I can't really do it oh shit. I don't have any cobweb right now and I've removed the ones I put in there so they will fall and almost die immediately, but it's okay. Whee! Then they fall down and I get killed. Come on. Oh yeah, there's nothing molten in there, so it won't melt. God damn it. But anyway, trust me, it does work. And if you have cobweb somewhat halfway down there, you can actually break the fall to the amount of... Well, they should have 16 or more HP when they land for the fourth tick. I'm not sure if it makes a huge difference, because I haven't been checking it in numbers, because it's a bit unreliable with this method, because it spawns too many villagers. If I want to do something precise, I have to do it one by one and get them to a specific HP, which doesn't work when you punch for four damage and leave a dot on anything. So yeah. Anyway, this is pretty much the most efficient I could think of when it comes to pumping out the emeralds and making them into blocks. And the uh, coolest, prettiest, too. There's a way of using auto clickers, but I thought, no. No, 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 I thought. I wouldn't use that. So, why aren't you pumping? You're turning the wrong way around. Oh, well, now you're working? You're fucking kidding me. I don't even anymore. I don't even. Anyway, thank you for watching. I am thrilled about any interactions on the videos. So, have a good day. And so will I, because I've got popcorn waiting. Bye.